Jay, I can't tell you how happy I am that Project for Awesome landed on my video day. I'm really excited to talk about my cause, but I think it's also very important to focus on the video you made for Project for Awesome a few years ago, which is like right here, and everybody should go look at how funny Jonathan used to look. <laughs> Today, today I want to talk about a cause that I have a very close personal connection to. Not only what the cause is doing, but I have actually worked with these guys a little bit at this point. As an aquarium hobbyist slash professional, I find myself in a little bit of a weird position. The thing is, aquarium hobbyists are amongst the driving force for reef reparation in the oceans across the world. Although we are the same people who are collecting and removing specimens from these reefs. So unfortunately, the aquarium hobbyist community is also contributing contributing to taking from these reefs for our own personal enjoyment. So I feel that it is very important as an aquarium hobbyist and as an aquarium professional to find a way to contribute back to those reefs. My particular cause is called the Coral Restoration Foundation, or the CRF. Basically back in the 70s and early 80s, there was a massive die-off of a reef-building coral called the Staghorn. And when I say massive, I mean a 98% die-off. Now, of course, if you went snorkeling in the Florida Keys right now, you would see lots and lots of underwater life on the reefs. You may be thinking, what makes this coral so special that we need to go to such great lengths in order to restore it to the reef? And the answer is because it is a reef building coral. Lots of what you would see underwater right now is a gorgonian, which is like a soft, fleshy coral that, while pretty, does not actually contribute to the physical infrastructure and growth of the reef itself. The staghorn, on the other hand, is a very rapidly growing coral that absorbs calcium from the water to develop a very stiff, rock-like skeleton. And it's this rock-like skeleton that literally created the physical reefs themselves to begin with. Now, what the CRF is working to do is a concept that's actually created by aquarium hobbyists looking to trade corals. The process is called fragging, and aquarium hobbyists use this in order to exchange corals with one another. Basically, you can take a small fragment of an existing piece of coral, transplant it into a new tank, and that will grow into its own full coral. The CRF took this idea, applied it to corals still in the ocean, and it turned out it worked wonderfully. So they would take these staghorn fragments out to a safe sector in the ocean, and they would just experiment with different methods trying to figure out how they can get the fastest growth out of them. So what they came up with is actually an unbelievable sight when you're underwater. They do these coral trees in line nurseries where they dangle a piece of coral fragment from a thin wire and allow it just to grow in every direction. And they've had such tremendous success so far working with just a small handful of initial fragments. They now have dozens of underwater trees and line nurseries that consist of over 20,000 staghorn fragments. And once these fragments reach a certain size, they're able to take them from the nursery and transplant them back onto the initial reefs using underwater epoxy and essentially that coral will just continue to grow and thrive and reproduce on its original reef. And to me, this is just an incredible project that's having so much success so far, and I think it just opens the doors for so many other corals and, and reef restoration projects across the world. So if you would like to contribute or find more information out about the Coral Restoration Foundation, I will leave the link in the description below. And Jay, that's all I've got for you today, man. I'll see you tomorrow.